Hey yo! What's up my student physicians? It's your boy DJ Mar back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about AMP 101, the Aerospace Medical Practicum 101 for the HPSP program. If you're not familiar with what HPSP is, I encourage you to go back on my, some of my other videos and watch um, about the dynamics, but basically HPSP is Health Profession Scholarship program and it is designed as a scholarship to get you into med school so you can be completely debt free so you don't have to worry about the financial burden and it allows you to serve your country in a way that you can't as a regular type of doctor. So anyway if you guys aren't familiar with the channel my name is DJ Mar. I founded Student Physician Network the place that you are so blessed to come and watch a video of today. I encourage you to go and browse the gallery of uh, other videos if this is your first time hearing about the HPSB, go learn about it. I have plenty of it on my channel. Also check out student Dr. Fury. He also has a wonderful um, amount of uh, content. So anyway, why don't we go ahead and get started into this video. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and get this started. So AMP 101 is a two week course about aerospace medicine and it's basically designed to sell you on flight surgery. Now flight surgery is this weird tool that the Air Force has that you can't really get out in the civilian world. There's not really a whole lot of residency programs for flight surgery. There's one for NASA I learned at, at this program, but basically Flight surgery is this weird thing that if you don't match in the military residency program, you automatically get opted into. Now most people don't want to do that, and we'll get in that in a little bit, in, into a little bit, but it's selling you on flight surgery. It's basically a primary care physician that just hasn't gone through residency, but some people have gone through residency and decided to do their flight surgery. I don't know, it's a whole mess. This whole scholarship is confusing, but hopefully with this channel we can get down to the basics. So anyway, on the first week of AMP, it's a little bit boring, and to be honest, a little bit tiring, but you do learn quite a bit of cool things during it. Um, it's 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., uh, just roughly, you get about an hour for lunch, and it's basically the first week is all classes, and you just take classes about whatever they're trying to sell you on. I mean, they're trying to show you all of the different avenues that you can go into flight medicine. Like we learned about nuclear, um, you can be a part of the nuclear arsenal, you can be a part of medevac, you can be a part of uh, NASA, you can be a part of all of these different avenues in flight medicine. And it's, it's pretty interesting, but it is, it's, it's really hard to stay in a lecture hall that long all day, and especially in the summertime. Um, but you get the afternoons off, and you could just hang out, you get to meet, network with other people. The first uh, couple days, they had this Celtic festival going on in Dayton, Ohio. And trust me guys, Dayton, Ohio is not a sleep, like do not sleep on Dayton, Ohio, I swear. I do not sleep on Dayton, Ohio, it's fun. It's actually a central hub, and there's a lot of big cities around, like you can do anything. So this first weekend they had a Celtic festival and there's literally like 10,000 people just walking around the streets in this festival and like, I mean, not everybody was wearing a kilt, but there's some people wearing a kilt. And it was basically just try cool beers and have fun. And so that's what we did the first night. And you know, some of the other things that we got to do is like, we went twice and floated down a river on giant pink flamingos. I know, pink flamingos, I'm not Air Force related, but it was still really cool. Um, so yeah, the classes were boring. And yes, if you've gone to COT, there is a test. But I promise you, it is not like the test that you took at COT. It's not like that test at officer school. It's way easier. And they have a review session the night before. And I highly, highly encourage you to go to that review session because they literally give you all of the answers for the exam the next day. You know, it's, it's, it's boring, but pay attention. There's a lot of cool stuff that I learned about the Air Force that I didn't know about before, and especially about like how I can treat patients in the Air Force too. So 
Now let's get into, you know, they're trying to sell flight surgery and flight surgery is this weird kind of thing. It sounds super cool, but the overall census that I've gotten from people is do not go into flight surgery until you have become board certified. So go to a residency first, and if you decide that your residency isn't what you want to do right now, go into flight surgery, opt into it, do the cool stuff that you want to do. But the reason that I've been hearing not to do uh, flight surgery right out of your internship year, which is if you don't match, is because it puts you behind everybody else. Now, when you get out of your in your flight surgery tour, and now you you're, you have to become board certified unless you want to do flight surgery the rest of your career, by all means, go and do it. You're, it's your life, live you. But for the rest of us, a lot of us will be thinking about either starting a career or getting out of the Air Force when our time commitment is up. Some of the cool things that we get to do. Oh, this was so cool. This, this was so cool. Okay, seriously though, I got to fly a freaking plane. A freaking plane. I gotta fly a plane. Now, I'm gonna have an entirely separate video coming up next about my experience flying a plane. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I did not get any video footage of me actually flying the plane, but I did get some cool little sound bits of the plane you know, taking off and landing. Uh, but unfortunately, I just, they weren't allowing me to have, I had a freaking GoPro for my chest and I had a camera mount that was gonna go on a window and it was gonna get everything and they had a rain on my parade and say, oh, safety hazards, whatever. I, I get it, I get, I get the, 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 the safety factor, you know, what if a bird came through the window and like and killed the pilot and then, or the co-pilot, technically co-pilot, cause I, I was a pilot. Now, you know, what if that happened and what if whatever, but oh, that would have been so cool to get some real footage for you guys, uh, but unfortunately I didn't. Uh, you also get to do a flight simulator, that's pretty cool. Um, you get to do some like disorienting kind of things and it, the whole thing, it's like a giant like encased car and you just like are thinking you're flying but like it's moving, and, I don't know, it's really cool. You get to network and meet cool people Everybody I met, uh, most a lot of people I had met from, you know, uh, uh, caught, but like I did meet some new people. Um, I want to give a shout out to Peggy, the, the lady who was uh, in charge of this. Uh, she's awesome. Uh, I know that us as a group, an entire class, not, not just me, but we were all kind of giving her a hard time, uh, you know, not necessarily getting to where we needed to be on time all the time. Um, and honestly, this is like a two week vacation. So bring your swimsuits, bring your golf clubs. Um, Bring whatever you like to do for fun. You get the whole afternoons off. There's no reason that you can't have fun. Some people went to Detroit. Some people went to Indianapolis. Uh, Dayton is, do not sleep on Dayton. I'm telling you guys, do not sleep on Dayton. Anyway, so I guess that pretty much sums up my video, guys. If you guys have any questions about AMP or HPSP in general, please comment down below. You know, I try to get to you guys as fast as I can, and those of you that do comment regularly, you can attest that I do get back within a few days or so. Um, like this video, S hit that subscribe button, please, Student Physician Network. We're trying to build a movement here so that we can connect many pre-meds, pre-HPSP, HPSP people, real doctors, uh, future doctors, everybody. We're trying to get everybody, anybody that's even on the pre-healthcare field, we're trying to get you guys involved so that we can get, we, we, uh, so we can be a better society, honestly. Um, and that's it. Student Physician out.